Hello, I'm Jaden from XLR Security, and in this video, I'm going to talk about whether or not you should upgrade to an SSD or stick with the existing hard drive in your video recorder. Recently, one of our clients asked me if it was worth upgrading to an SSD. In his email, he specifically mentioned four key points. Number one, is it faster to retrieve playback footage using an SSD? Number two, Will the 2.5-inch SSD fit inside of an NVR, considering that it's designed for a 3.5-inch hard drive? Number three, is there a specific brand that's compatible with Uniview NVRs? And number four, is an SSD reliable compared to a hard drive, and will it work with continuous recording? At the time, I wasn't quite sure how to reply to his email, so I spent some time doing research and today I'd like to share with you what I've learned. I'll be covering a few key topics, including whether an SSD is faster for video playback, how long you can expect it to last, and how much noise and power they use compared to hard drives. One of the main benefits of solid state drives is that they are much faster than hard drives. How much faster exactly? Well, some solid state NVMe drives can reach speeds of up to 12 gigabytes per second. This is insanely fast compared to a Western Digital Purple hard drive, which maxes out at 265 megabytes per second. However, these NVMe drives use what's called a PCIe interface in order to reach those speeds. And video recorders don't have PCIe slots on them, at least not yet. All video recorders that I've seen use a SATA interface instead. So, if you're installing an SSD inside of an NVR, you'll be limited to the speed of the SATA interface, which maxes out at 600 megabytes per second. So theoretically, even if you buy the fastest SSD available, you'll only be able to reach speeds that are about twice as fast as hard drives. Not to mention that hard drives are plenty fast enough for video playback. Don't believe me? Let me show you how quickly I'm able to play back the cameras from the UNV Link app. So as we can see, my playback is currently at 12 o'clock, which is the current time. So if I jump back to 8 in the morning, it quickly loads like that. And if I want to jump to a different time, 6 o'clock, it's there. Jump back to a different time, it loads very quickly. So if I want to jump back to a different day, let's say in the middle of May, it's already there and we can keep switching around and playing back and as you can see there's very little delay with my hard drive as you can see a hard drive is plenty fast enough for video playback sure it may be a little bit faster with an ssd but most of the delay comes from your network speed if you have slow internet an ssd won't do much to help Longevity and reliability is another concern when it comes to SSDs. You can only write to the drive a limited number of times before it starts to degrade and stop working. Since the drive will be working 24 hours a day to record security footage, it will wear out much faster than if it was installed in a computer. So, how much of a concern is this? Well, you can check the TBW rating of an SSD from the manufacturer's website. For example, this crucial 2TB SSD has an endurance rating of 700 TBW. This means you should be able to write 700 terabytes of data to the drive before you start to run into issues. So, how long will it take to reach 700 terabytes in a video recorder? I'm going to use our camera system as an example, and I'll throw up a few numbers on the screen so that you can follow along. We have a 10TB hard drive installed in our office recorder. It gives us just over 38 days of recording. This means that every 38 days, we're writing 10 terabytes of footage to the NVR. To reach the maximum capacity of the drive, which is 700 TBW, we'll need to experience 70 of these 38 day periods. This gives us 2,660 days, which is about 7.28 years. On the other hand, Western Digital Purple drives are rated for continuous 24-7 operation. 
they don't provide a TBW rating, which makes it hard to compare them directly with solid state drives. They do, however, list a spec called annualized workload rating, which is how much you can read or write to the drive in one year. Western Digital drives have a workload rating of 180 terabytes per year, and their Pro Series drives have a much higher workload rating of 550 terabytes per year. To put that into perspective, our system is currently using 96 terabytes per year with eight cameras. Since we're well under the maximum rating provided by Western Digital, the hard drive should be reliable for at least seven to 10 years or possibly even longer. Of course, you'll always have some drives that fail sooner, but on average, these drives should last for a long time. Personally, I've seen some Western Digital hard drives that have been recording for more than seven years without running into any issues. These drives are designed and optimized for video surveillance, so I wouldn't worry about them wearing out before it's time to replace your camera system. Another benefit to using an SSD inside of your NVR is that they are completely silent. If you put your NVR in your bedroom or another quiet space, you may find this quite valuable. On the other hand, hard drives tend to make a slight ticking or scratching noise. For example, I have a four channel NVR with a two terabyte hard drive at home. This is how it sounds. To be fair, it's only really noticeable when everything else is completely silent. If I had the windows open, the air conditioning going, or I was listening to music, it would be very difficult to hear the hard drive noise. Another benefit to solid state drives is that they consume less power than a hard drive. For example, a Western Digital 6TB purple drive uses about 4.7 watts of power. Meanwhile, their blue SSD uses just three watts of power. This means that the hard drive is using around 50% more power, which sounds like a lot, but how much would it actually cost you in additional energy costs? Well, electricity where I live costs about 12 cents per kilowatt hour. An SSD will cost you around $3.15 per year in electricity whereas a hard drive will cost you around $4.95. Not a big difference, especially when you consider that the hard drives are a lot cheaper than SSD drives. Right now, a decent two terabyte SSD costs around $200 Canadian, while a two terabyte Western digital drive is around $95. And the price differences increases when you get to the higher capacities. An eight terabyte SSD is around $800, while an eight terabyte hard drive is less than $300. Not to mention that if you needed higher capacities to store your footage, it's impossible to find SSDs that are larger than eight terabytes. However, you can easily buy 18 terabyte, 20 terabyte, or 22 terabyte hard drives from multiple manufacturers. So, taking all this information into account, should you upgrade to an SSD or should you keep using hard drives? Well, ultimately it depends on your requirements and budget. If the low noise, faster speeds, and lower power consumption are worth it to you, then an SSD makes sense. However, for most users, I would recommend sticking with hard drives since they are so cost effective and are available in large capacities. If the price for high capacity SSD drives decreases by a lot in the future, then it may be worth it. But right now, they're just too expensive for me to recommend. Well, that's it for this video. Please leave a like if you learned something. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.